Hello everyone. Today I am back with another video. Now today I am going to recreate one of my old designs like this one I did in the early time of my channel and I am getting lots of comment on this one how to make this effect here. Now that time there was no voice so I am going to create another video another design just in the similar look and to explain the process here. Now this is just a text I am going to use here. You can find that lots of them by searching on Google. This is the text I am going to use in this one. Now for making this kind of designs we need a scripted font. This time that time I used a font that is called Anydor. Let's use that font for this one also. Now for uh, this one here I am, I am just going to make some of these words as my focus text. Like this amazing is going to be my focus text. This happen is going to be my focus text. So the rule is one will be ordinary text, one will be focus text. Just so on and so forth. So for uh, this fonts as I am going to use one font for everything here. So I am selecting them all. Then maybe just I will use any door. So this any door font is really good. And that's why I am going to use this one. Now for this style of design I am going to as they are made I am going to break them ok before breaking them let's keep a copy here if I need to make any changes sorry I made three copies here so this is the text here now I am going to break them something like this create outline ok so this one is my normal text I am going to place it something like this area I want to make it a block kind of design then work hard be kind so this be kind is going to be a bit smaller here okay so that's why I didn't break it I kept a copy so let's use a font called Joseph Sophia here as you can see this B is a bit smaller in size so if I press shift T I will get my trust type tool and then I can add this source to my design these elements and that's how I can make it a big looking big looking world something like this ok let's just keep it as it is this kind I'm going to place something like in this place I'm just roughly placing them maybe this end in this area then this amazing so that is good things will happen ok happen so this happen is going to be another focus text now for this and and things will happen i am erasing them this one and this one i am going to use a straight looking font maybe my explorer yeah that's good so then let's use that same font for my work also just like this now i am using them as like this because i want to create a blocking block looking design like everything will be in a boxy kind of shape let's keep it aside for now i'm going to keep the wide of my design something like this same okay that much is good or we can just overlap it with each other but let's not do that for this time so this is my amazing text this is going to be a bit bigger in size something like in this area then i can align them all in the center just like this I will fix it later so will happen let's keep it in this area select them all again align them now for this one here I am going to place it something like this that's a bit bigger yeah that's good now work hard be kind this B I am going to use this font because that is not much area there so let's break it be kind and amazing things will happen so this and i'm going to use something like this a bit is smaller in size something like this that is good now for this one things will happen these things and will i want to make it two part like this now i'm pressing ctrl v to paste it let's select them and break them so let's make them same size smaller like this then these things will be pasted here 
then this wheel here we can just simply make them same size smaller bigger let's align them center wise so that's good now this is my <coughs> this is the design for my this one now we can add some twist here like this area i'm not really liking this option here let's take our pen tool to align this like merge them together or something like this as you can see that is looking better than before or maybe just I can simply select this one then okay let's not do that let's keep it as it is right now so that is good now for this one here I am going to create some extra effect for my these areas so for that i'm going to take a ellipse just like this the regular ellipse brush we create but this time i'm going to press a for my direct selection tool this area i'm going to make it pointy and then something like this then this area i'm going to select it like this then ding them something like this maybe yeah that's good this kind of lap kind of shape heart kind of shape so let's go to brush art brush okay okay so this is going to make a new art brush for us and that is good i'm clicking here to activate this this brush then if i press b for my brush tool you can see this brush is selected now i can draw some lines like this something like this that's good let's create on here okay we need to like keep in mind the directions here if we wanted to make it like this okay we can change that always now for that one here let's create a direction here that is good okay i think that much is good for us so let's select this two brush brush strokes these three object expand and then i'm going to like select these three these two i'm going to just adjust the position a little something like this maybe a bit bigger then this one here i'm going to move it something like this in this area so that much is good let's just okay so the part that we created here is beginning from this at this point now for this one here i'm going to select everything and everything is in fill color no stroke here and uh, okay sorry for that i wanted to create a brush stroke here just like this another one here or just we can like more delete one then we can expand it something like this then bring on here selecting these three align them center wise then distribute the space between them and that is good something like this so that much is good for us let's select our this ellipse here ctrl x to cut it now i am selecting this shape okay let's press ctrl f here and now press ctrl c to copy now i am selecting this shape here opening the transparency for it press ctrl f again but this time i am pressing shift and alt to make it bigger just like this and that will create a cutout effect there that much is good for us let's create something for this area also now this one here something like this we can always make it smaller depending on the size of the graphic area so that much is good only thing that is irritating me that is this area this double p area so let's take a pen a pen tool a stroke like this then if we select them that and we can make it in this stroke but that is not looking good so let's keep it this rough looking stroke here this one that is good maybe a bit up that's fine let's expand it now i wanted to create some transparency effect here let's make it complete black so i am going to create go to object path and then offset path create offset path not that much just a little bit 
yeah that is good okay let's not do that i'm going to go back a couple of times yeah this is my stroke let's keep it this simple lines no effect on it make it capital sorry all caps round cap sorry for that now i'm going to expand it once it is expanded i'm going to create a offset part for it and that will look good so something like this a little stroke kind of Control x to cut i'm selecting this happen text go to object transform sorry transparency open and press Control f that is going to paste it like this now in, in this area i want to keep this p on top and this p on bottom so something like this that is good okay i need to select it again sorry for that inside the transparency i will find two shape here you can see i don't need this part and that is good let's my happen text is selected you can see here let's go to object path and then offset path something like this that much is good let's control x to cut it now i'm selecting my this stroke here open the transparency press control f now i want i just need this p to be here not this p not these parts not this h and a only this p so you can see here and that is making it look like this this p is on top this p is on bottom so that's just a simple effect here we're creating now i'm selecting everyone make sure that it is a one color design nothing missing here and now the main part is start here go to object path and then offset path so offset path here i am going to create a bigger kind of offset path something like this just making sure that nothing is left here like if i make it small you can see there are some areas that is visible from this area i don't want that i want to it big enough to hide all the areas inside here now it may be there may be some areas that is not that is not hiding completely but make sure that everything is filling up like this now press ok and for this one for at this point never don't click anywhere else just click on this march and unite it is going to look like this don't worry just press ctrl x so you can see the offset path is just in our clipboard right now and this is our main text so at this point press ctrl b that offset path is pasted in the background let's change the color you can see and this is a, you can see here so the text is our main design this red is the offset path and when our offset path is selected or we need to select it then we can okay as you can see there are some problems in this area like in this area this area so let's do that again perfectly so i'm selecting my this all text here let's make them a group that's fine object path offset path something like this but this time make it round and it will fix those area okay so now you can see there are some area that is not filling up but don't worry or we can just make it a bit smaller okay let's make it 20 per 20 pixel that's good click ok now if i make it merge and unite it is going to fill all the areas again ctrl x to cut press ctrl b to paste it back now change the color if you want so this is looking like this and now i have to press shift x so shift x will make our that fill into a stroke and if we make the fill the stroke bigger like this something like this 10 percent 10 point maybe and this is just going to give you that shape that look we can also change it like align a stroke to outside it is going to look like this we can make it round cap anything you want and something like this it is going to look like now i need to change it to the black so you can see this is how easily we can create that effect but there is something we a create effect we created here but that is missing let's control c to copy now i am selecting uh, this one this shape inside the transparency press ctrl f to paste in front but a bit bigger shift alt for make it bigger from all size all the area that is good so as you can see this is how our design is looking right now and that's how you can create this kind of effect now that one is a bit detailed so let's make it detailed I'm just showing you so go to object 
path offset path then make it 10 10 pixel and 10 pixel will follow the outside lines here something like this or maybe 15 pixel just to say okay let's make it 10 pixel that's good now when it is in 10 pixel let's go to merge unite to make it a complete single shape ctrl x to cut select this group press ctrl b it is going to look like this now press shift x and if i make it 10 10 pixel but that's a bit bigger let's make it something like 5 pixel yeah and you can see this is how you can make it completely matching with the edges of the designs here something like this that is really good and this time yeah that is looking good everything is looking very similar to this one like this is the very close to the text here and that's why it is looking like this and this is the final design for today i hope you this one will clarify the confusions about this design this is really easy you there is nothing fancy here just you need to understand the process now as you can see there are some fails in this design some strokes so let's expand them all to make it a one single style everything is fill here if i change the color to white it is going to look like this so that's it guys i hope you learned something new from this one and i make you make it explaining the process so this will clarify the confusions here so that's it for today's video guys have a great time thank you for subscribing my channel see you in the next video guys have a great time thank you